These two fans in Philly are the center of attention this morning. And this is the shot right here that shows he may know what's coming next. What are you saying, Melo? Come on. Who did? AD! Yo, what's going on? Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh my. Yo, we're on TV. Oh my god. The two unruly fans get booted from the game at the referee's order. Yeah. Dude, where's Mello? He's so soft. And yet, here's another fan who wants to get involved. So what exactly was said? According to the well-respected Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports, they kept calling him boy and yelling, get in the corner, boy, and keep shooting, boy. It's been a great place to come in and play and fans. I, I know how the fans are here, but it's just certain things you don't bring to any type of sporting event. It's just certain things you don't say to anybody. As NBC Sports wrote, directing boy at a black player doesn't just cross the line, it obliterates it. My perspective? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's uh, some things were said unacceptable. Uh, I'm 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 cool with uh, you know, fans heckling, fans talking trash, uh, cheering for their team, going other team. I'm I'm all for that. But when you when you cross certain lines, as a man, you just I mean that's that's what you're gonna see. That's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna get as you as you saw that. But I'm sure the people that's in charge will. Take care of it you know, accordingly, deal with it accordingly. And, uh, I, I, my job is done. And here's the thing we have seen this crap in the past. Recall when Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather went on their trash talking media tour. <laughs> As The Undefeated wrote, McGregor's use of boy, a slur that conjures up imagery of slavery, Jim Crow, and the residual racism still prevailing in the U.S., and a proxy for the N-word, spurred an immediate firestorm on social and mainstream media. And this was Mayweather's response. Uh, some black people are mad because he said the, the whole boy comments. What do you think about it? Are you offended by the whole boy um, comments? Uh, racism still exists. In 2018, the following happened to Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Westbrook tells the fan he's being disrespectful, saying, don't call me boy. That's when the fan doubles down. In 2019, then Pistons star Blake Griffin was called boy by a Timberwolves fan in Minnesota. I mean, it's, it's a delicate situation. I mean, racism we know exists. Um, you, you, you try not to... Put yourself in a position and for me as a father you know i try to just give my kids the the, the blueprint on how life is going to going to be but at the, at the end of the day i can only tell them so much and then they have to go out and live it themselves um you know for me just try to be respectful for one be respectful to others and i feel like if you do that uh, consistently then I, I believe the karma will come back to you. According to an NCAA investigation, then Colorado State football coach Steve Adazio called the black custodian boy. The custodian said 
He told Adazio it was closed, to which the coach continued and said, I guess I'm going to use it. The custodian, who asked not to be identified for fear of retaliation, said he replied, I guess my job doesn't matter. He claims Adazio then turned and said, what did you say to me, boy? At which point the custodian again said, I guess my job doesn't matter. The custodian told the investigator that Adazio then followed him out of the restroom and said, I don't think you know who I am, boy. I run this building. The Office of Equal Opportunity Investigation concluded that Adazio likely made the remark in part because of surveillance footage of the incident. A Sixers spokesman told ESPN that one fan was ejected and that the Wells Fargo Center would be in charge of any further discipline. An email to Wells Fargo Center, security from ESPN was not immediately returned. From your experience, like how frequent or infrequent has it been with fans like crossing the line? Often. Yeah. A lot. I don't really understand why grown men get off by coming in to someone else's job and, you know, saying. Has it gotten worse in recent years, you think? Yeah. If I'm like someone who's probably not as happy with my life and I got an opportunity where I'm going to someone else's place of employment. And I know if I say something crazy to them and they say back they lose money, misery loves company. So, you know, I think the longer our penalties are raised and, you know, blasted to the world, people will keep doing that. Because at the end of the day, what do they really lose? You know, but our families lose money out, out of our, you know, that we provide. Others must understand the history of African Americans and what it has always meant to black men for someone to call them a boy, wrote Roland Martin. In 2006, NBC reporter Tyson Foods was sued by two longtime black employees who claimed they were passed over for promotions by a white manager who called them boys. Thoughtco adds in most situations, the word boy is not a problem. Used to describe a black man, however, the word is troublesome. That's because, historically, white people routinely describe black men as boys to suggest they weren't on equal footing with them. Both during and after enslavement, black people weren't viewed as full-fledged people, but as mentally, physically, and spiritually inferior beings to white people. Calling black men boys was one way to express the racist ideologies of yesteryear. The NBA has sadly dealt with a high number of profile incidents in recent years. Russell Westbrook, as we showed you, the subject of taunts. Another fan threw a water bottle at Kyrie Irving in Boston during last spring's playoffs. Teams typically respond swiftly by banning fans that engage in such behavior from arenas, but sadly the league has struggled to prevent these incidents. It's not, it's not great for sports. It's not great for society. Um, you know, you got guys like Martin Luther King, who all he talked about was trying to unite all of us, no matter the color, no matter the race, no matter the shape or size. So, you know, we know it's a long, it's, this is going to happen for racism is going to be a part of time f forever, I believe. But I think for us, the people that have opportunities to have a voice and people that have an opportunity to have some, um, you know, some play on the youth that's coming up. We have to lead them the best way we can, and, um, and we have to live with the results. 